So first I want to say congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Hodges. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> As everyone knows, these two took a year off and they traveled the West and uh, they decided to have their wedding at Joshua Tree. And now that we've been here a few days, we've had a few days of hiking, exploring, playing around, and now we get it. Amazing place, magical place. so vividly and I think it's because without even realizing it I was describing you. Allie in a way that was so supportive and so kind told me I might need to compromise on one of the <laughs> qualifiers who could possibly be so well-rounded but I didn't I just waited. So you know my je ne sais quoi moments, when the universe is aligned and telling you you're on the right path. Well, you're a big part of just about all of them. When I say you're always right, it's not in an antiquated, the woman is always right kind of way. It's in the way that I truly look to you for guidance. You really do have the best ideas and such a solid true north. Like quitting our jobs to travel, having our wedding in Joshua Tree, buying this rug in Portland, even though we didn't have a house. And in those moments, I know you are right and I just follow you. You're looking good. Thank you. I cannot wait to see. Definitely the right choice. Couldn't have picked a better dad, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is it hitting you? Like, how are you? It is, yeah. yeah. I'm like, I don't feel very nervous, though. I, like, feel pretty calm. You see? It don't feel, it don't feel very real. Together are a true force, and we are all just in your orbit. Together, you have carved out moments that are magic filled, inspiring, and best of all, you invite those you love in for the ride, no questions asked. All these wonderful people, all these wonderful people come from far and wide come to the desert to help us celebrate the How special is that? And the way you have cultured and nurtured these friendships is so impressive. And it just shows the quality of the people you two are. What do you get? Melon. 
Island. Matrimony. You can definitely get some matrimony. <laughs> I'm so happy to be a part of it. Oh, I take the plunge. I linger in the air. It whispers, it's too late to turn back now. I scream out, shake off the cold, releasing the tension. I look over. I'm not alone. You're there, where you've always been. And I ask, can we do this forever? I wouldn't say the past five years have been all easy. We've had life-changing adventures and we've also weathered some storms. But through it all, we've chosen us. And I stand here today so confident that we've built something beautiful and intentional and real. And most importantly, we've built it together. I'm so excited to define our future, to define family, to define friendship, to define community, success, love, to define the rest of our life. Basquiat said, art is how we decorate spaces, and music is how we decorate time. Well, you are how I decorate life. <laughs> Brenna and Brian, be safe and be sweet. <laughs> and remember who you are and whose you are. Oh, yeah. <laughs> by the power vested in me, by the state of California, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Brian, you may kiss the bride. <laughs> it is my pleasure to introduce to you for the first time, Brenna and Brian Hodges. Brenna and Brian, here is the many, many more years of adventures with awesome friends and family. Take care of each other and enjoy the ride. Cheers. We love you. Thank you everyone for coming out again. Uh, this is a little bit of a tradition at our house at the end of the night. Poor little mezcal. But I, but I do have a little toast before we get into it. May you all eat well. May you all drink well. May you all dance well. May you all live well. Whether you're sipping or shooting, may your golden days always be ahead. Cheers. I love you. I promise to choose you today and every day. Let's do this forever. 
That was awesome. <laughs> That was so good.